Hey guys, this is Coral and welcome to another weekly update video of World of Custom Statues. If you are interested in any of the pieces mentioned in the video, just send me a message on the social media platform links in the description below. Also, if you want to see more photos, just check out the description as well. We got this silver surfer ready to ship. This surfer actually doesn't take much space. It's kind of like a museum statue since Norin isn't on his board and is on a superhero landing post. Nice combination of chrome paint plus the clear resin for the fire. We have this Franco Sculpt Uncanny Wolverine. I actually don't have this version of Wolverine yet in my collection. Besides that, the sculpt is fantastic since this is uh, a Franco Sculpt. Franco has done probably majority of Wolverine's costume by now. Uh, great unique Wolverine with metal claws, some unmasked portrait switchouts, and even has an adamantium exposed in one of them. We have one of Franco's best uh, yellow wolverine in my opinion. This one is quite bloody with all the dead ninjas on the base and the blood uh, going around. Comes with two torso and even a torso stand so nothing is left in the box. Of course, we also have some alternate unmasked portrait switchouts for wolverine. Got one of these Iceman available. I think this is one of the best Iceman quarter scale statue right now that doesn't need a dining table to display. Very nice clear resin for Iceman just like real ice. The photos are not mine by the way. Uh, credits to the owner. Got one of these Wolverine vs Sabertooth diorama available but it's only the brown version. Very nice sculpt on both characters, some blood here and there. Uh, both characters are battle damage because they are obviously fighting. Wolverine does come with 3 portrait switchouts. We got the prototype reveal for this Lady Thorpe and it looks amazing. Really thought the base would be massive but with a pose it just looks right. We have the full reveal for the prototype of this Venom vs Carnage. This is a piece for Venom fans, not so much for Carnage since Carnage is almost defeated or actually already defeated here. We have the prototype reveal for this museum type Iceman. Gotta say this is very very impressive and definitely tempted to get this one. Small base and a great statue. This Venom is ready to ship. This is a companion piece to a Spider-Man with a similar type of base and now it also be a companion piece to a symbiote Spider-Man version. No more waiting time for this one except for shipping. This statue comes with a whooping ape portrait switchouts by the way and half of the base is removable so if you want to display him lower, you can do so. We have the full reveal for the prototype of this beta ray build. This is probably the best uh, quarter scale beta ray build you'll have. So if you're missing out on a beta ray build on your Asgardian collection, then this will be it. We have this Dark Captain Marvel that is ready to ship. Very rare character to own. Her coat also has some very intricate details. You should check them out. And her mask head portrait does have light up features. Got a few slots left available, so just hit me up. We have the full reveal for a Venomized X23. Originally, this sculpt was an ordinary museum type X23. It is a sold out statue and is already shipped. Now they have transformed it and added some Venom symbiote, making it a Venomized X23. We got more teaser for the prototype of this pit. 
We got the prototype reveal for this museum type Spider-Man. This came out amazing. Love how vibrant it came out. Now, production can finally start for this. I'm very, very excited for this piece since I do have this on pre-order. This is a sold out statue, but I still have some of them available for sale. We have a full reveal for this Wing Venom by Caleb Nefson. It will most likely be already sold out once you see in these videos. I do apologize for that. Anyway, this Venom will come in two different versions to choose from. Each torso is posed differently and will have two different portraits. Wings will be removable and he will have a switch out arm with the Necro Sword. Lastly, it has three configurable options for its base. We got the prototype reveal for this museum type X23. This came out amazing. She will even have glass eyes which will make it even more amazing. This is probably the best quarter scale X23 so far. We got the prototype reveal of probably the best museum type Carnage. Love the sculpt on this one. Very easy to display, easy to pair with other Spider-Man or Symbiote collection. Factory did a fantastic job on the prototype. I got one of these Cyborg Hulk ready to ship. It is the exclusive version so you get everything, uh, all the switch outs. Sculpt is actually quite amazing on this. It's very detailed and lots of textures. Even the torso stand looks amazing. This one is actually much more detailed than the one uh, that Caleb did. But you wouldn't go wrong with either of them. We got the prototype reveal for this Galactus and wow, this definitely rivals the one that Sideshow did. I think this is gonna be the best Galactus statue once shipped. Titanon did a fantastic job on the prototype, obviously. Very, very nice sculpt as well. We got some updates on this Strife on Throne. We have the prototype reveal for this pretty much soon. The one third scale version of this museum type flash is finally printed. The prototype will most likely be soon as well. We got some work in progress on the prototype of this Iron Spider-Man. Very excited for the full reveal. We got some work in progress on the prototype of the Soldier Logan vs Tank. This is actually sculpted by Caleb Nevzen. Very very excited for the reveal since this one is gonna be painted by Campy. We got some production photos for this museum type Doctor Doom. This is ready to ship sculpted by Caleb Nevzen. Same quality as the Grail Doom on Prone by Caleb. We got the prototype reveal of the comic version of this museum type Thanos. Gotta say this came out amazing, way better than I expected. Makes me want to pre-order it actually. If only I didn't have a lot of Thanos already. Feels like the perfect museum type Thanos in my opinion. I mean, just look at the base, it's just perfect. Best Thanos for sure. We have a few slots left available for this Constantine statue. It is ready to ship so there will be no more waiting time except for shipping. It has a few portrait switch outs and a light up feature. We got the full reveal for this Electric Superman, the blue and red version. This statue will come with both characters and it's actually quite cheap to be owning two of them. This project is up and running again and we have the print of the Superman by Jim Lee. This is only the quarter scale. We are not sure yet if the one third will happen. But anyway, in case you forget, here are some renders of the Jim Lee Superman.
we got a prototype reveal for this carnage and it is done by Titi Noon and of course she did an amazing job as always. Love the base on this carnage and how aggressive carnage looks. Quite unique base as well compared to all the sideshow or XM bases for carnage. We have the full reveal for this museum type Miles Morales. This is actually part of a line where we have Spider-Man eating a pizza and Spider-Gwen on her phone. So Miles is most likely gonna do some hoops. Very consistent scope, very very nice paint job and a new unmasked portrait of Miles will be coming soon as well. Again, every information you need will be in the description below. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future updates. And if you're looking for a different video to watch, you should check out this video right here. This is Carl and see you again next week.